How are we here back on day two at Vero Beach? Yesterday, I found both gold and silver on the beach and hope to find more goodies today. I'm gonna spend this afternoon looking for more buried treasure after yesterday's storm. Yeah. You clean it up. Definitely looks cross like. Not yours? Wow. Bull shark. Found that one right here on this beach, too. No way. Great white. Holy crap. No. I don't think it's a ring. Not a chance of rain today and the weather is a whole lot better than yesterday. I'm gonna walk down along the water. But today I'm gonna go south. Low tide is in about an hour, hour and a half. And I'm not really expecting to find a whole lot up here. There's a lot of detectorists and this is uh, pretty hunted out. But with all the cuts that I found yesterday, I'm actually pretty hopeful. Should be interesting. Oh, the water is so much calmer today than it was yesterday. Well, it's not low tide yet, but the surf is beautiful. These guys look like they're having a hoot of fun. Here's my first target right there. 30. Lots of shells. Wow. Very wet sand. All right. Where is it? Yep. In the scoop. Oh, I got to wash it out a little. First target, a bull dip. Not really big surprise. Right now I'm gonna hunt a little closer to the water and when I come back as the tide is coming in, I'll hunt closer to the cut here, but I think I'm gonna zigzag back and forth until I find some targets. All right. What is that? Ooh. That's an old fishing lure. Ouch. Pretty sharp hook. Oh shoot, I forgot my cork. Well, I'll put it in my bag anyway. All right, right there, 32, I think. Right about there. Wow. Tide's starting to come in. Still in the hole. Yep, I think it's in the scoop. Uh, hang you willing on. to give any pointers for a beginner? Yeah, give me one minute. Sure. Yeah, it's over here. Oh, I see it. Ah, it's a little piece of jewelry. Oh, cool. Awesome. Yeah, a little hand of God there. I found another one of these last week. Oh, I'm sure that's not real diamonds, but uh, you never know. You never know. I'm a beginner. You're a beginner? Yeah, just got it. I actually just put it away. I had, uh, oh, I saw you up on the dry sand. Was yeah. that you walking around? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, what uh, kind of machine do you have? I, I bought the um, Mind Lab. Ah, great little yeah, machine. A bunch of washer, washers and some chains in the kids' playground. So oh, I yeah. Here and I didn't get anything but a tiny little part of a pop can. Yeah, I'm always finding pop, pop tops, yeah. It, it takes a while. My name is Noah. Noah? Yeah. Cam. And you? I, I'm Dave. And up and coming huh. treasure hunters. Maybe. <laughs> well, now that you saw me pick up a piece of jewelry, right? There you go, yeah. All right. They're new treasure hunters. And they saw me in the water over here find a nice little piece of jewelry. So my guess is they're going to be hooked. So I'm going to keep going here and see what I can find. I'll catch you on the next one. Wow, a lot more people in the water over here. Excellent. I think I got it. All right, let's see. Yeah. Whatever it is, is right here. It's right over here and it's really chirpy. So let's see.
What is this? I don't know. I'd have to clean that up, whatever it is. It looks cross-like. Clean it up. Definitely looks cross-like. It's an Acura NSX. A Matchbox. Or Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Acura NSX. Sweet. Okay, so whatever it is, it's right here. Really? Copper pipe. Dang it. That's a 37, 38. Okay, there it is. All right, all right, got it. it. Looks like I don't know what it is. Piece of copper. Odd. Right there, twenty-four. With the wet sand, I have a hard time finding stuff. So, trusty pinpointer. All right, what do we got here? It's a nickel. Okay, five cents. Okay. What are you guys doing? He's gonna skin, he's gonna, it's called skim shot. Oh. So this, this will pull up like a bungee. Oh, I'll get out of your way. As soon as a good wave comes, we'll get it for you. Awesome. Ready? How yeah. oh, fun. That's super fun. Yeah. All right. Okay, took a couple of tries. But I got it, it's in the scoop. Yep. Another fishing lure. Wow, that's the second one I found today. This isn't even, uh, doesn't have a hook on it. Oh, that was strong. Cool, second piece of fishing gear. Okay, it's right here, whatever it is. I wonder. Okay. 24, 25. All right, Let's see what that is. Okay, so that's a 14. Is that it right there? No. Hey! We have a goldish ring. All right. That is very shiny. Very goldy. I don't see any tarnish on that oh yeah that's nice all right let's keep going and the 26 oh. yep let's check it out it's in here hang on hang on let me see what I got. It's over here. All right. So the trick, seeing that it's all sandy and yucky, a new detector. Aha. 
coin. It's a coin. It's a nickel. Yeah, cool. Look at that. Five cents. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up over here and I'm going to put the nickel on the ground over here. See if you can find it, okay? Okay. Here, I'm just going to put this over here. Okay, so here's a nickel. I'm just going to throw it right on the ground right there. It doesn't You got it? It's like really low set. Is there something right there? Oh, look. See? You got it, yeah, nice. That's awesome. What's your name? Mine? Yeah. Emily. Emily. I'm Howie. Hi, Howie. You can have the five cents if you want. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You see it? Excellent. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. So say hello, YouTube. Hi. <laughs> All right, you guys, good luck. Thank you, too. How fun. The tide is coming up. And a 26 over here. Right there. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, we got part of a car key. Very old car key, minus the top. Got it, what is it? I think that's a, a paint can opener. Interesting. Let's see what it is. Wow. Hey. Not mine. <laughs> Not yours. Not yours? Much smaller stuff. That was a good one. That's quite the hook. Whew. Okay, right. so this guy, he's all about the shark's teeth, right? Oh man. I found that one right here on this beach too. No way. Great white. Holy crap. This one's Look cool. at these. Wow. Super cool. Thanks. And this is a different one. Bull shark. Amazing. Thank you. So say hey to YouTube. YouTube. Howie Great Bank. Thank you. Huh. Well, it's five o'clock and I got to walk all the way back to the pier. I carried away today. That's a 50. 44. There it is. It's a quarter. An old quarter. 1995. All right, 25 cents. Right in the middle. Yep, whatever it is, is right here. Holy crap. No, I don't think it's a ring. I thought it was another ring. It's round. Copper, whatever it is. Okay. Well, quite the erosion. Right in front of it, I have a 40, another penny. Who knows? If it is a penny, I won't be surprised. All right, let's see. Yep. All right, so what is this? Definitely not a penny. What do we got here? We got two euros. Huh. Interesting. 2014 RF. French? I'm not sure, but two euros. Don't find those over here very often. Cool. 
25. Ah, uh, pull tab. Oh, that work. For a pull tab. All right. All right, I'm finding stuff in front of this cut over here. It's pretty high. Let's see, what do we got here? 33. Is that it? Little piece of cancel. Huh. Yep. Okay. So here's a wrap up for the last couple of days on the beach. The first day was super windy and stormy, but the second day was actually pretty nice. It turned out to be sunny in the afternoon and not too bad at all. So these are my first day findings. Check out the other video in the description for the first day's hunt. Okay, here are findings for day number two. First, the not so exciting ones. I found this little wrench here. This, I believe, is used to open up paint cans. I found this chunky piece of aluminum. Not really sure what that is, but it was buried pretty nice and deep. Then in the water, I found this buried piece of copper. Definitely copper. Don't have a clue what that is. As usual, found a bunch of tent stakes. Found this little funky bolt. It's got uh, threads on the bottom and it's got, looks like a Allen wrench torque on the top. No idea what that's from. Then I dug this up and I freaked out because I thought it was a ring. This is definitely not a ring. It's a pull tab of some kind. Not exactly sure what this is for. If you have any idea, well, let me know in the comments. Then a little bit of can slaw like usual. Piece of copper pipe, three pull tabs. Moving on to the more fun ones. The first thing I found is this car key and I have no idea what car it's for, but it kind of looks like my Porsche key. So I'm gonna have to clean that up and see. I was up to my knees in water when I dug this up. Low tide, that was a pretty sharp hook there. That's been in there for a little while. Then I found this fishing, looks like this fishing weight here. Pretty heavy, pretty shiny. And I dug up this Mongo hook. Holy crap, I wouldn't want to have this in my foot. Maybe I saved somebody a trip to the emergency room. Then in the water, I dug up this cool little car. It's a Hot Wheels. It's an Acura NSX from 2015. This one has still got the wheels on it and it goes pretty good. Next to my change, I found one quarter, two dimes. I actually found two nickels, but I gave one to the little girl, as you can see in the video. Four pennies. And the interesting coin that I found was a two euro. That's an RF. And if I'm not mistaken, that's from France. I'm gonna have to look that up and I'll let you know right here in the video. Then the fun stuff. It's a very interesting gold ring. Again, it has no markings on it, but I'll test it. And when I put this video together, I'll let you know whether it's real gold or not. But either way, it's a very heavy ring. And I have a feeling it's some kind of gold. All right. So now I'm gonna test my gold ring here. Draw a nice line. A little bit more than an inch long. Okay. I'm gonna start, that's the line. I'm gonna start with the 10 carat. Drop the 10 carat on the edge. Okay. Well, that's good news, no change whatsoever. 14 carat. Next drop next to it. Doesn't look like there's any change. That's good news. Here's the 18 carat. Holy crap. We have no change. Here's the 22 carat. Oh yeah, baby. So the 22 carat. I don't know if you can see that. Watch yeah. this. All right, so that's not going to drip down. So you've got the 10, 14, 18, and 22. All of those three you can see through. The 22, almost completely gone. I can just barely see the scrape underneath it. So what does that mean? According to the booklet here, for gold, for 10K, if it's fully dissolved, it's not gold. For 14, it wasn't. It was still there. 14 carat, not dissolved, 14K or greater. For 18K, if not dissolved, 18K or greater. 
outstanding. For 22, which looks just like that, partially dissolved, it's between 18 and 22, and it is, it's partially dissolved, it's almost completely dissolved. So it's between 18 and 22 karat. And if it was not dissolved, then it's 22 karat gold or greater. So what that means is this is an 18 karat gold ring. Outstanding. Put it on the scale, 3.9 grams of 18 karat gold. All right, so this is CoinApp's gold calculator. So I'm gonna type in total weight in grams, 3.9. And what that says is based on today's value, today's gold value, that's a $215 find. Wow. Another hand of God charm. If you can see it close up, I'll put a close up picture of it in here. Really shiny stones. I was very excited when I found that. I was actually showing another amateur detectorist what I was finding when I, when I unburied it. So you can see my enthusiasm there and I think he's hooked now. And I think the most interesting find is this one. Well, I cleaned it up a little bit. I let it soak overnight in vinegar and I cleaned off some of the barnacles and I'll let it soak for another day or so and I'll show you the picture of it when I make this video. But I think this is a religious cross and it definitely is cross-like and I think it was a pin. So those are my three jewelry finds for the second day. These are my three jewelry finds for my first day. And these are all my findings from Juneau Beach. Well, I thought I was crazy going out to the beach on a rainy, yucky day. It turned out to be okay. Second day, the weather cleared up. Pretty awesome.